cartooning. Yeah, I got a question for you guys. I'm uh, I'm calling because I have a uh, a Dotson with your mustache bar. Yeah. Um. So I had one of those bolts snap off, um, just because it loosened up a little bit uh, from the diff. Uh, I was just wondering if you guys have the length of that bolt. The one that goes into the back of the cover. Yeah. Uh, and what diff do you have? Uh, the R180. Okay, give me just a sec. Hold on. I know it's an M14 by 1.5. I just gotta find out what the length is on it. So give me just a second. Hold on. Perfect. Hey there. Yeah. Okay, so it's actually an M12 by 1.75, 80 millimeter long. All right, hold on just a sec. Let me write that down. So M12 by what is it? 1.75. 75 by 80 by 80 yeah I just need to know the length on it because I have the, just one of the other ones is literally holding up my diff right now so I got to limp it over oh, to the okay. shop so That's 80 millimeters yeah but the thread pitch is at 175 which is kind of an odd yeah it is an odd one I'm gonna I'm gonna go and try to get um, some Allens and try to and I'm gonna also put some uh, thread lock on it. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, no, of course. Thanks a lot, bro. So it's M12, 1.75, uh, 80 millimeter long? Yep. Sweet. All right, man. Thank you. Have a good day. No problem. Have a good one. Bye. What's up, guys? Zach Sanders here with Dotson Ski Z channel. I'm currently at High Strength Bolt Company. I'm going to get some bolts for my Z so I can drive it because it's broke right now. I'm here at one of the best bolt companies I think there, that there is. Uh, they have the best stuff, the best quality, and they also are cheap. It's not really expensive. I, I mean, I can buy a bunch of grade 10 bolts, grade 8 bolts for like nothing here, and they normally have everything that I need. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get a couple of bolts for my diff so I can tighten them up and then not have to have problems when I'm driving it. Um, yeah, so let's get it. Just picked up bolts from High Strength Bolt Company, and obviously this is the place here. High Strength. Anyways, the bolts were about 11 bucks. I picked up two Allen heads and then two socket heads uh, bolts that were about M12, 1.75, and 80 millimeters long and I also picked up a couple of washers and lock washers as well so hopefully that setup and a little bit of blue Loctite will do the job when I put this whole differential back together so uh, that's what I plan on doing next and then I'll be able to drive the Z again so this is what I got so Allen and then I got the uh, socket heads here so I picked out a thicker uh, washer in terms of uh, diameter wise uh, so I can because the hole on the mustache bar is like this and the, I don't like how the head uh, latches up to it so I picked up a bigger one and in the regular size just to make sure it fits correctly so She's running again. It took a little bit to get rolling, but I'm gonna head over to Exhaust Pros right now and I'm gonna get started on the diff. Hopefully I can limp it over there because I only have one bolt holding the diff, the rear end of the diff up. So I'm gonna limp it over there and I got bolts for it. So yes, it's gonna be interesting. Hopefully I can get that bolt that broke in it out of it and then we'll get started on the skeezy it's almost time it's almost it's boosting season so and it's nice and cold out right now so it's time to boost and i'm going to get ready for that here soon so let's get started all right just showed up to exhaust pros we're going to get this on a lift in a few minutes here so 
That is the plan. Mustache bar needs to come down. I need to take the bolt out of that spacer right there. It goes right there. And I'm gonna put some new ones in and tighten it down. And we'll go do some donuts. The shop's on fire! Ricky Bobby! Help me Tom Cruise! Help me Oprah Winfrey! Well, now it looks like the homies are setting this place on fire. This Dude, this is not a good idea. I'm getting rid of the gas now, dude. It's just gonna smell like smoke. Yeah. Until this, dude, if my car gets caught on fire, dude, there's gonna be some hell to pay, bro. You, do you, favor, Zach. you don't do me any favors. Here at Exhaust Pros, we light cars on fire. <laughs> right, Sean? <laughs> Look how smoky this place is. That's what, hey, do you see the smoke right here? That's what it's gonna be doing to your car, no, your bike next year. That's what's gonna be doing to your bike next year. Struggle with lights. So this is the shorty that was in there that I had to get out, which was actually really easy to pull out. It did not stick, it was already loose as it is, so I just spun it out with my finger. This is the other one that was in there, and that was the only thing holding that diff up. If I did not have that, we'd be screwed. Okay, so this is my setup here. I fixed those two bolts and put them back in. Everything looks clean, obviously. I got my beautiful Holly High Flow. And I'll get the lighting right in here. It's so dark. That's my fuel system, Peterson Fluids. And yeah, Techno Toy Tuning, T3, Fudo Fab CVs, and Fudo Fab Stub Axles. So, not too bad of a night. Get out in the open here. So, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to comment below. Subscribe to my channel. This is T3. It was a decent evening. I got it back together. Hopefully, gonna go do some burnouts here soon. I want to get some more material with the ski Z. Hopefully I get to boost it soon. So that's the plan. Um, otherwise, ski Z out.